Everybody, welcome back. It is time now for our keys to the game presented by your neighborhood Ford store. Okay, Arthur, sticking with you first for the end of the show here. Give us your key to Sunday versus the Browns. Well, first off, Missy, I wanted to just tell you, you did a phenomenal job getting me in the office, getting me involved early. You know, I'm one of those players. I need attention early on so I can feel good about myself. And right now I'm, I'm just on an all time high. So for me, when I'm looking at this matchup, the key to me is the Steelers offense protecting the ball. They're going to have numerous opportunities to move the ball in this Browns defense. Um, Matt talked about how their splash has really covered up a lot of their inefficiencies defensively. But they do have a league leading 12 turnovers and they've done it through interceptions and fumble recoveries. So that's the biggest thing for me, man. Protect the ball. If you protect the ball, they're going to be fine moving the ball against that Browns defense. All right, Pursuit, I give us your key to the game. I'm going to keep it simple and, and I'm going to I'm going to do that. Understanding I know it's a big game because whenever you hear Williamson talking about backside gap integrity, man, this isn't just <laughs> another Sunday, but yeah, it's, it's real. <laughs> A lot of nuances to this game, guys, but if Cleveland runs the ball, the Steelers are going to have problems. It's going to be a much longer afternoon than it might be if they don't let Cleveland run the ball. If you listen to Cam Hayward this week, he talked about the tackles in particular for Cleveland, uh, Conklin and Jedrick Wills out of Alabama. Uh, that has uh, completely changed uh, the Cleveland offensive line. It's now a very good offensive line. It used to be a very bad offensive line. And Cam mentioned a couple times these guys finish. They're big. They're nasty. You know, those big boy pads that Matt referenced that Vince Williams is going to be bringing. This is going to be a street fight, a barroom brawl in the trenches, and the tougher team's got to win it. If they stop, if the Steelers stop the Browns there, then they have a chance to dictate the way the rest of the game goes. Okay, Matt, you can take a shot at Pursuta or give us your key to the game. Either work. Boats kind of took mine, to be honest with you. I was going to go oh. with a dozen turnovers, but hey, I can spin off of it. You know, I mean, because they've created so many turnovers on defense, it's masked that their back seven minus Ward is very vulnerable. It's also masked, and this is where I really want to go with it, that Baker Mayfield isn't playing well. I know their record is strong. I know the offense is producing. He's playing very fast, very frenetic, and it hasn't been exposed because they have great starting field position. They're taking the ball away when things aren't going well. They're obviously running the football really well. So if you can make Baker beat you, I think that's a real tough chore for the Browns. I mean, he has a remarkable string of passes batted down, fumbles, interceptions. He doesn't see the field well because he's not a taller guy. He has to scramble to find lanes. I think the Steelers front really is going to give him problems. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this edition of our matchup show presented by Power Home Solar. Thanks to Arthur Motes, Mike Prasuda, and Matt Williamson for joining me, getting ready for the Steelers' first AFC North football game on Sunday. That's going to do it. We'll see everybody next week.